Greetings friends, today we are going to talk about the perfect 10 out of 10 resume for someone who is changing careers and I thought what better way to explain this than to just walk you through it myself with a resume that I created for someone who is changing careers. Let's just dive into it, you can see exactly what it looks like and I'll tell you how to build one for yourself. So first things first, we get through sort of the uh, introductory name and contact information and then we give ourselves a nice professional title. So what we want to do firstly is draw their attention to the industry that we are trying to get into. So this resume is an example of someone who wants to get into HR and they just sort of have a sales and managerial background. Uh, we see people transitioning careers all the time. A lot of people are transitioning these days into tech from something non-technical. Lots of career changes happen every single day. You can do this. Let me let, let me walk you through. Um, so, HR. So the first thing we're going to do in a professional title, whereas in other resumes we, we might want to tell them about what we do, in this one we're going to first tell them that we are an enthusiast of the industry that we are looking to get into. We want to just say that industry name right away. If we don't work in it already, enthusiast is the best we're going to be able to do, and it's a strong word. Uh, then we'll give ourselves, as we usually do, a couple of other titles. Because we are working in other areas, we can just sort of focus on our sort of soft skills or our leadership skills. Uh, so that's why I usually like to throw in things like these, seasoned people leader, developmental manager, just so they know, you know, this is human resources, we care about people. So if you're going into tech, maybe we have a couple of tech related things there. Uh, next, under our areas of expertise, this is a super important section for uh, getting past ATS scanners because it allows us to plug in a bunch of keywords. Um, we are going to put in anything and everything we know or have experience with or have even studied in a course uh, related to this new industry that we want to get into. So for this one, because this person has some management background and has done a certificate in HR, we've pulled a lot of skills and experiences from that to put in er our areas of expertise here. And that is kind of how we fill out this areas of expertise section. Uh, what, you're, what you want to look for in terms of what to put in there is content that's going to come from the job postings that we're interested in. So if we pulled up a couple of uh, entry-level HR job postings. We'd look at what are the, the functions they're talking about in these jobs, what are the skills, what's the industry terminology, and those are the kind of things that we want to plug into areas of expertise. We are also going to pick like our top three to four skills related directly to the industry we want to get into, and we're going to talk about them in career highlights. So you see here, we just start straight up as direct as possible with human resources. Then we talk about how we have eight years of experience doing people leadership and human resources like things. So we're not necessarily saying, claiming to have eight years of human resources experience, but we want to show them that we've been in, in and around that world. Then we pick a couple of other sort of HR related things, team building, performance improvement. Again, if, we've, if we're trying to get into tech, surely you've used technology in some of your past experiences so we can highlight how we've used technology in our in our roles um, or whatever it is we're just looking for our most transferable skills and we're going to give them a little rundown of when we've used those skills here uh, so that's career highlights again this sort of top third of the resume we're just trying to get them super excited for to read the rest of our resume and we're also trying to make it clear that we are very interested we're not just applying to this other um, new career path because we hate what we're doing now we want to make it abundantly clear this is a very intentional shift another way we do that and probably the most important way to do that is to show that we've taken some sort of education some sort of training focused on this new career it's very hard to move from one career to something completely different if we don't demonstrate to the employer that we're already committed to making that career change through something like taking a certificate, uh, going back to school, maybe even just taking some online courses. The, the degree of your investment in going back can vary. 
Um, and I'll say that the more invested you are, the easier the transition usually is. Uh, but at very least, some sort of nice online certificate that we can talk about. And what's going to change is that for most of us, when we are kind of established in our career, education is going to be one of the last things we put in our resume. However, in this situation where our education and specifically this new certificate or diploma or whatever it is that we enrolled in is our best selling point and our most relevant piece of information related to the career we want to get into, we are going to bump that above our professional experience. And then just like we would under professional experience, we're going to put some bullet points in there, as you can see here. So the things that we will include bullet points under this certificate regarding professional or sorry, relevant courses, and we'll list everything that we took or everything that we learned in the courses that we took that's related to HR. Again, this is a great way to work in some keywords so that we're coming up positively when our resumes go through those ATS scanners but also ju to just make sure that someone reading this knows that we are familiar with these areas and we, we're not gonna be a complete beginner when we arrive, even though this is a new uh, career area for us. Another really, really valuable thing to include under the education section is if you've done any major projects. And we wanna list these out just like a bullet point for any other job. We wanna get as detailed as possible, talk about what was the subject matter we were covering, who were we working with, if possible, how did it go? Some of these capstone uh, projects are competitions where we'll get rated and maybe we get some sort of a, a grade or we get a prize or something. This is all great stuff to include. If you've had multiple big projects or big projects, maybe from each of your courses that you took, we can detail each of those in a bullet point and it's really gonna feel like experience for each of these jobs. And you can see here, I also included academic achievements. So if we have like a great grade or you know performance in in this program the certificate you can mention that as well it's a little less relevant than uh, the projects and the courses but still good uh, and then we get into our professional experience and just to clarify this is a one-page resume because this is an ed educational resume most resumes now are two pages uh, but we'll list our job experience next and the trick here again is to focus with our top bullet points on things that are closely related to the industry we want to get into. Specifically, if we have ever worked with people in a department that we would like to go work in, so if you've ever, in this case, worked with, uh, uh, with our HR colleagues or in another industry, if you maybe have worked with an IT team or some vendors from another company who are in the area that you want to get into, uh, that's the kind of stuff we can we can work in as bullet points even if it's less impressive accomplishments we just want to show some exposure to those industries aside from that the bullet points should just be focused on us doing a great job so it is okay to list bullet points that aren't relevant to your new industry if if the old jobs are not directly tied to your new industry but what we really want to do is make sure that we show them any relevant work and also that the work we did that's not relevant, we just did a great job. So our most impressive accomplishments that are not re relevant to the work that we wanna get into are also super valuable here because people like to hire high performers. Um, and then as, we, as you see here, we kind of closed out with our uh, technical proficiencies, just using any particular, or listing any particular skills or technology that we're familiar with. And again, highlighting those that would be relevant to the, the jobs we're interested in. So this, my friends, this is a 10 out of 10 resume for someone who is changing careers. Now I have a template that looks just like this that you can pick up. I've linked it down below. This is my highest converting resume template. Uh, I call it template 3.1 because template three was doing well, but I upgraded it a little bit to 3.1. So that's linked down below if you want your resume to look just like this. And of course, follow and like this video for more because I'm putting out a ton of great job search content, especially around resumes. I'd love to see you in my other videos. Thank you.